$28 Amazon Bear Force versus $23 Suds Lab Foam Cannon. We're gonna be washing my wife's C7 Corvette today and each of the applications is going on when it's wet. I did this because I wanted you to see just how well each of these foam up. We are using Lithium Auto's amazing double tap car shampoo. This stuff has eucalyptus and essential oils in it. And every single one of the products that you see that I'm gonna demonstrate here is linked down in the description. And there's a 15% off code for everything from Lithium Auto. Suds Lab. So this one originally came with a 1.1 orifice and my nephew switched it out to a 1.0. I've since switched it back so this is a totally fair comparison. It's a 32 ounce bottle with the shape that I don't much care for. This skinny little base tends to flop around when you set it down with the hose and gun attached. You can adjust the aperture easily enough by twisting here and changing the spread, but you cannot change between horizontal and vertical. That's to be expected with most foam cannons in this price range. The feed hose is as stiff as Ron Jeremy if he was to eat 20 Viagras for breakfast. You're gonna miss picking up some of your solution due to the construction and where it's permanently pointed. The Suds Lab is made in the good old U.S. of A, and the price is a meager $22.98. Right now, I need you to slap that like button, just like Iron Mike Tyson is going to slap the bejesus out of Jake Paul, that gum. The Bear Force. It comes with a 1.2 orifice installed, but it also comes with a 1.1 orifice you can put in yourself. Now this is really important because if you're a home enthusiast, you most likely have a smaller electric pressure washer with less output than a pro model. To still get great suds and results, you just switch out the orifice, which is really easy to do. The bottle is one liter or 33.8 ounces and has a great design because it is thick on the bottom. I mean thick. And the reason that's good is because if you set it down while it's attached to the gun and the hose, it ain't gonna flop over like a wet noodle. It's better center of gravity, just like my ex's mama. She just had too much center of gravity, like way too much. The pickup is this nice hose that has a weighted metal pickup at the very bottom, which guarantees you're gonna get all your products. Now when mine came, the hose was just a tiny bit too long, so I just gave it a quick circumcision. You can adjust the aperture as well as the horizontal and vertical spread. The Bear Force is manufactured in China and has two models. Made out of brass is only $28.90. The stainless steel that you see here is just $38 even. These are both a steal at these prices. Comparing these to the MTM, as far as price, the Suds Lab is about one-fifth the price, the Bear Force is about one-third the price. In this range, I am absolutely going to have to give the win to the Bear Force. The overall construction, the base, the fact that this is a little bit more adjustable and the foam did go on a little bit thicker, yep, the Bear Force was winner, but you're still going to be a winner with the Suds Lab. It was really good for that low, low price. And I need you to go ahead and click here so you can start finding out how to detail your car like a pro on a budget. Also, December 2024, I am gonna be donating my hair to Locks of Love. I encourage all y'all do the same thing. It is a great organization. 